I will play this tutorial on how to beat Radiant Nightmare King Grim. The charms that I use are Unbreakable Strength, Quick Slash, Shaman Stone and Soul Eater. So Nightmare King Grim is one of the best fights in the game, but he only has like 5 or 6 attacks and they come very quickly which makes him difficult, but once you have a plan for each one, which we'll go through, it makes the fight a lot easier to get through um, because it becomes more of a pattern recognition fight. Um, so yeah, we'll get into it. He also has one of the best soundtracks in the game, so it's not a bad fight to get used to fighting over and over again. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So, starting off with this dash through, you want to shadow dash through and then move towards him so that projectile will be a gap for that projectile to come down. Uh, when he drops down and speeds towards you, you want to monarch wings, uh, double jump otherwise, and hit him on top of the head. You can also just double jump and just leave him. The four pillars, there's two ways to go about it. You can go past these three pillars and then shadow dash back and use Howling Graves, or just hit him with a nail. So, dash through, go towards him. There we go, dash through, just hit him. It is it is about just being confident knowing what to do with each one. And this Pufferfish thing he does, it's 75%, 50%, 20%, 25% health that he does this. Slide to the floor, just move out of the way, you've got more time than you think. There we go. And then dash through from the fourth one. Dash through, move towards him. Dash through, move towards him. It Shadow dash through the third one. Shadow dash through the third one. And if you so wish, you could use the Shade Soul instead. And you can get an extra hit in there if you close enough to him. Again, so this is 50% health. For the four pillars as well, if you move slowly, um, you can actually get the four pillars before you even reach him. So here, double jump, hit him on top. You can also just stay flown in the air or use Desolate Dive as well if you so wish. So two, four, shoot it all. Dash through, move towards him. Four pillars, we just move really slowly and then we can get a Howling Raves off. Or a Bish Streak, should say. One, two, three, four. And you can use the nail as well just in case. Nail is just a um, a decent soul collector for this. If you use Shaman's Soul, the magic attacks do do a lot more than um, the nail will. So I recommend learning to use the magic. So one, two, three, and you can get an extra one off there of course. Yeah, it's just these five or six attacks, he does them over and over again, and once you get confident enough to recognise each one as they go in and knowing what to do with each one, it'll be all good. And just, especially with Radium, where he's got increased health, um, using the magic just speeds this fight up a lot more. Another thing is, just to, like take your time with this fight, once you know how to deal with each one, you can actually just relax into the fight, because you're not rushed in thinking what you're going to do, because you already know what you're going to do. Uh, but yeah, That's it. not an easy boss, but a very simple boss. Um, yeah, Just recognising those 5-6 attacks, having the plan for what you're going to do for each one, and then implementing it. But a very fun, very fun boss fight. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, uh, I'm live on Twitch on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you can also comment down below. So, if you click that like button, click uh, press subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.